Welcome to an episode of NCIX Tech Tips that's so hardcore that I'm going to curl this case for the next six minutes. All right, but on a more serious note, guys, this, my friends, is a chassis that was lying around the office. And if you take a look inside, ah, uh, yes, what's this? 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro Series memory. So why on earth would you need 64 gigs of memory? Well, okay, if I'm to be completely forthright and honest with you guys, it's uh, a big part of the reason is because the editing team here at NCIX needed some RAM for their systems. So they worked out a deal with Corsair to get some RAM for the systems, but it ain't that simple. You also gotta make a video about the RAM and what better to do with 64 gigs of RAM than grab an X79 board that has eight memory slots and create a RAM disk. So what the devil is a RAM disk, you might ask? And the answer is pretty straightforward. It allows you to use software to take RAM, which is normally not accessible as a regular drive letter, and turn it into hyper ridiculous fast storage for your PC. However, there are both some advantages to this and some drawbacks. Now, I think the advantages have been covered pretty well here. It's super fast. It's orders of magnitude faster than anything else you can store data on in your system. Um, so, of course, you'd want to put all your games on it and your, your operating system. And no, because of the software implementation, you can't just install Windows or Linux or OS X on it. It doesn't really work that way. So let's get into the disadvantages. Once you lose power to the system, the data that's on your RAM disk is gone. It is volatile memory as opposed to the non-volatile memory that is on something like an SSD flash drive. Okay, so then what can you use it for if every time you power down your system it has to be wiped? Well, there's a few different things. So number one is many RAM disk applications have ways for you to create an image of whatever is on the RAM disk that automatically backs up before you restart. This is great if you make any changes to it while the system is booted. However, it will make it, especially if you have a large RAM disk like this, it will make it extremely slow to both shut down and boot up the PC while data is moved from the SSD to the RAM disk. If you're willing to deal with that, then a great configuration is grabbing a small SSD and using it as a dedicated backup for your RAM disk. If you don't want to wait around, there are a couple of other things you can do. So you can actually use the RAM disk as something like, say for example, a page file. Many applications, for whatever reason, ignore system memory and move data straight to the page file, which traditionally was on a hard drive, which is much, much slower than RAM. Now, I've started moving my page file over to SSD whenever possible, but if you could actually have both your system memory and your page file, which is just virtual memory, be memory, then you would be able to get better performance in those types of applications. You can also use it for things like uh, browser caches. You can use it for installing games but not actually keeping your save files on there, so backing up your save games to somewhere else. You can, it's great for games like Skyrim. You don't get any uh, texture popping in the same way that you do with the much slower storage that you have on hard drives and SSDs. Now, I've talked a lot about how RAM disk is faster than SSD and faster than a hard drive, so without further ado, here are some actual numbers for this RAM disk versus a Velociraptor and versus an SSD. Yeah, so you know, remember how when SSDs came out, particularly random IOPS were like, like all the SSDs were like here on the, you know, an OnTech or whatever site you like to read benchmark thing, and then the hard drives are like this little sliver? That's what a RAM disk is to an SSD. It is freaking unreal, guys. So I backed myself into a bit of an awkward corner here, guys, where I left myself still having to do a shot to conclude the episode but having already said everything that I had to say about this technology. So I guess what I'll say is it's up to you guys whether the inconvenience of slow startup and shutdown times and the risk of losing changes that you've made to the data that's on your RAM disk when the system loses power randomly. I mean, okay guys, I definitely recommend using a UPS or uninterruptible power supply battery backup for your system if you're using a RAM disk. So it's up to you whether that inconvenience and of course the additional expense of buying a ton of memory for your system is worth 
the increase in performance? Is it noticeable? In certain situations, yes. But it's also not the kind of thing where absolutely everything you do on your PC is much faster when you, like when you upgraded from hard drive to SSD or from single core CPU to dual core CPU. So it's for speed freaks and enthusiasts and not for your mom. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.